ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the republic of amalfi series and um you know one would think that i should be happy as heck but oh boy east francia i just noticed it's no longer italy he is the king of west francia bavaria italy or so which is don't mind that it's probably due to mess with the files with the um, uh, the god dang Christian immersion mob. There's still Aquitaine. He has not formed the Holy Roman Empire yet. Yeah, just noticed that border color changed. But anyways, I was a bit thrown off by that. Um, good news or bad news? Good news, Amalfi is now Catholic, but it's still Greek. Amalfi is a kingdom now, or... Republic, but not Serene Republic, not Serene Dolce. The bad news is he is dull and depressed, but he became a master schemer. And he found a new source of income. Piracy. Yeah, by any means. <laughs> so, we still got some work to do before that man uh, goes on. But we should start spending money to the campaign fund now. Because we're going to be throwing our money to that. He's got a long way to go. He's young, you know, but he's got plenty of prestige. I'd like to have another trade post, but that dumb broad just destroyed it. <laughs> destroyed that trade post. Uh, well, actually, we had to dismantle ourselves because they had an angry mob and we had to do that. Or so, or so. Here, it's March 20th. It's time for the pirates' yearly revenue. Poor intelligence the cost commands calls my pirate will tell us it's fair worse than expected. Casualties led to money being lost this year. Oh god, how much? Ten, okay. It's fine. One day during the leisurely afternoon. One of my courtiers offer to teach me a particular subject matter. What do I want to learn? I already know all about intrigue. Wish it was diplomacy, but... Mm -hmm. No, I'm dull. I can't be doing such things anymore. Border color change anymore. Oh, now it is officially the Holy Roman Empire. God such the Great. So now he is the HRE Emperor. So I meaning, yeah, these areas can't be touched. So there is still room for expansion in southern Italy. Some degree, yeah. My son got consumption. Uh, dear. There's no consumption disease around here, but he got it somehow. They're still trying to recover. Say guild halls done, but boom times ahead. Here's some optimism for more wealth. Seize a trade post. 
That man. There's a lot of favorites to turn into him. Wish we could get rid of him. Don't want to enrich yourself. But the man's got connections. I haven't heard from you in a while, sister. So I could come too. Oh, not again. Rights in the Mafia. They started it, those bastards. We're still in the family field of Morrow. Okay, you're not coming too? But she will. Sense born. Orso Orso. It's never capable of holding things with the right hand. God doesn't like the left handed. Um, yeah, they do not. We are experiencing a plague of parts on our coast, and there's a room we are supporting them. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, can you please put them out of these regardless? For I assume it's not true, or is it? A strange adjudication. He's up to something. A Jewish request. The Jews are planning to build a new synagogue in my realm. Since a few time and a voice to dissatisfaction with the rabbis asked my prince to erect the building. Yeah, for once. Sure, for a bribe, I mean, a uh, tax. Corrupt temptation. Early in the morning, I was approached none other than Sergio Musco. For a strange play about rigging the next election for Doge. Face of a moral dilemma, now I must decide the answer. You pay the money to me? I'll let the gold speak. There's a huge amount for this. So they done rigged the election for this. Thanks for the money, but now we need to get rid of him. That man's too dangerous to be left alive. In fact, we can get him right now. You think I would help you get elected, huh? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for the money. I'll make some use of that. Again, these two events here, not gonna do that. That'll be up to the next ruler. Because I'm not that kind of guy who would do a lot of good for the Republic. No, he could care less. Although he's depressed still. That'll be up to him. And that genius wife of his. Hmm. She's at it again. Oh, by the way, since you destroyed my trade post there. But I viewed this place with great value. In fact... Let me see the base total and all that. This one's more expensive. Rebellious. Volatile. It's also rebellious. Medium migration. You know what? Let's rebuild that trade post there. And put the rest of the campaign fund. Beatrice de Calaris is the wife of the Duke of Salerno. Next door neighbor. She's been spending a few days in the Mafi. Very nice experience meeting her. Perhaps our peoples are not all that different. Well, he's a fellow lying about. It. 
Sorry about that. It distresses me that you perceive my order as accusing you and questioning on it. As this was not my touch. Please accept my sincerest apologies for this misunderstanding. Rest assured that I do not suspect your involvement in piracy. Is he stupid? I see that now his attention were honorable. Answer and accept apology. Apology accepted. I'm glad to hear you are well. My wife's visit was a good experience. Fortunately, these times packs are broken left and right, and avoid going back on my word in the future. I'd rather not give this guarantee. Hope you understand. Same. I'm drinking some herbal tea and meant to good health tonic. I would drink a little too fast and burn my tongue in front of everyone. Yell. That hurt. I'm a little fatigued. Think it's camp fever? Ah, oh, good old Robin. Still around. Well, I don't have the money right now, but once I get it, you'll be first to know. Certain that illness is caused by too much laughter. To make me feel better, forbid everyone to tell me jokes providing with Teddy's tomes. How does not, you know, a co conspirator send. When Sona sent word that the carriage Patricia Sergius traveled on will soon suffer an unfortunate accident, even no source. As I said, we need to get rid of him. Peaceful province and that's Sarah. Mm -hmm. And all that. Get to next time. Well then try this option. Oh, is there something in your hair? I rove my fingers in my place. Um, and the servant pointed out. And lo and behold, a small clump of dirt was there. <laughs> How did that got there? Oh. Uh, now I have a fever. And you think it's smallpox? S should abstain from food in order to feel... Better and prescribe a three day fast. Glad I hired Hypatius. Tatiana gave me a smile as soon as she started walking to the local forests around Amalfi. And I've been waiting for this for a while. Okay, we're actually hunting this time. And I'm no longer depressed. Now I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Success. The carriage was sent flying over the edge of the cliff of Patricia so just throwing it. A driver I bribed has also been dealt with, leaving no loose ends I could time me to this event. Shame on such a nice carriage, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Giovanni. You'll get yours. Well, since this is a kingdom's tier now, what is the difference with the Crown Authority? I could do title revocation, but you need the Crown Authority for that. It's all about legalism. But everybody's undecided. I know what we can do. Oh, no, it's not debate time, damn it. Because <laughs> this would be very good. It would be a very good time for a debate. Right here, right now. Oh, I forgot to call the priest to receive auction. No miracle here. My piracy operation has gone wrong due to infighting. When two major factions emerge, they start waging a bloody campaign at land and at sea against each other. This must be stopped. I'll use whatever resources to assume control of the situation. I just lost a big amount of money for this. Someone's gonna pay for this. There's gonna be hell to pay. I don't want to pull some of that money away from that campaign fund. I hate to do this to my son. And if I take money from the Jews, he's not gonna like me for that. And he might excommunicate me. Can't say that I blame him.
Wait, I don't have the piety. Hours pass a little, no excitement. Suddenly we come across the boar we were looking for. My soldiers look at me, waiting for my orders to wait it out or hunt it down. We attack right away. There's a high chance of getting wounded and also a higher chance of success if she decides to help me. Will you help me, darling? I like how we're doing two sway events. Sway chain event and this regular sway event. All at the same time. Sure you enjoyed being a person. All in all, not bad this year. Higher than usual lost ships. Rebuilding these ice ways on the final profit. Gout! He got gout! Uh. Well, since I have a limited time on Earth. And I guess you're not gonna run the Republic this way to continue on this tradition, so. Let's not get hasty here, so my, as long as you know what you're doing. The day the earth shook. The earth shook. People screamed and buildings cracked. A cloud of foul-smelling air swept over the village. Making torches and fires burning green for several hours. It took a couple of days repairing the cracked buildings and salvaging items from a few older houses that collapsed. Luckily, everyone escaped unarmed. Yeah, earthquakes happen in Italy. I slowly walked through the city, examining buildings and noting what remained to be repaired. When an excited peasant approached me, with bothering much formalities, told me about a giant crack in the ground just outside his farm. He wanted me to come and inspect it, perhaps determine what to do about it. Of course, show me the way, peasant. The other boar fought violently. We finally bring the beast down. To loud cheers or retain, it's been a good hunt. We all fought as best we could. And I paced his end of my chambers. He was followed by an air most foul. The stench seemed to originate from the jar in his hands. A mixture of cow's dung and herbs from my poultice master. When I paced us, uh, proceeded to smear it on my chest and almost wretched. I actually feel better. Yeah, he had a good run. You're in a new court champion. I need an increased chance to convert the whole province. Gate of hell. A foul smell swept over the city. Each day the earth shook and slowly crept on us and I reached involuntarily. The wound that had burst open in the farmer's field spilled fire and brimstones and we stopped. I guess at the sight. The flames and fiery stories stones threatened the bare ground around again. The farmer was, was lucky his fields lay foul. I uh, take a closer look to this. Hmm. The tormented souls of hell. Wailings, screams, and cries for help seem to emit from the burning gap. The farmer grew pale and refused to take one step for her. I walked as close to the hell hole as I dared to and tried to peek down. Far from the occasionally fiery stone and eyebrow licking flame, I could see nothing. The wellings and screams seemed to increase until it, it felt as if my head would explode. I stumbled backward. I felt the ground shifting beneath my feet and would have fallen in the pit um, if the farmer hadn't grabbed my arm and pulled me away from it. I'd need this gap to close now. It's the gates of hell. There's a way to close the gap, but how? You know, if my father was still alive, he would have solved this problem. Close the gate of hell. I gave the wisest men and women of my court three days to come up with a solution how to close this gap. It seemed to open the whole way to hell. With three days, they thought of a different solution to the problem. If he was still around, I think exorcism will be the solution. The priest will perform an exorcism. So we are part ways to thank the priest for the invitation hunt. We've gone closer. In the end, it was all worth it. The exorcism. The 
The priest walked several times around the camp, sprinkling holy water and chanted words, Vade Ratro Satana, Vade Ratro Satana, avoiding the fiery stones and flames spewing from the gap as best he could. At the end of the third time, he knelt and began praying. He only wants to behold, Vade Ratro Satana. I think this will work. A 90% chance that it might work, but a 10% chance it might not work. It worked! The gap finally closed. No more fiery stones and flames. No more wailing voices from the underground. The priest did a fine job exercising the gate back to hell. So, yeah, close the gates of hell and everybody starts to respect me a little. For the next five years. I cannot stand that duchess. He takes every opportunity to assault and bury me. Clearly this woman wishes to be my enemy. Okay, that's it. You're going down. She's a bad woman who exterminates innocents. She's a successful schemer. That's it. Your ass is toast. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. So. If she keeps assaulting me like this, it's not going to end well for me. She's probably going to laugh in my grave. The fishing industry of Amalfi is experiencing something of a boom. For some reason, the population of fish has grown dramatically, significantly increasing the amount of fish available. This will feed many families and provide a lot of fish that can be traded elsewhere. For the next two years, Amalfi gets fishing boom. Alrighty. The population of fish in the water surround this province increased significantly. More fish for everyone. <sighs> Not all is lost. Maybe I should invite them to carousing when they're not busy. This man's got so many modifiers. I have a gout. I don't have the money to for the campaign fund. As I get older, I'm starting to lose some hair. My doctor prescribed onions as a way to combat this problem. The medicinal properties of onion, he said, would help me in this situation. My breath will really smell bad after this. <laughs> what the? Although, uh, so. It'll be one for struggle. He's got rabies. Not a gusher packed folk with Venice. No point in that now. Come back. Raphael. Mm -hmm. Let's see. As you are the grandson. Firstborn grandson. Go for this. Just don't make them convert to Ligurian culture. Both the Slavic cultures but frowns on Hindus. Alright, both provinces are now Catholic. And you are so concerned about my negative piety. Well, no need for those concerns any longer. Yeah, you got it. I have never been a known murderer in my life. But I hate that woman so much. That woman must die. She's back in the court. Now it's time to plot to take revenge. If there is one. No, two backers. Send them over. Ah, 
No more negative money. Another school of thought. It appears they found a philosophical school to rival the ancients the thoughts of machines, mathematics, and natural world. So, Marco, this is no cyclist. Philosophy will go far. That's in Shivan, Iran. Emperor of the Romans. For centuries, a magnificent Constantinople, queen of the cities, was the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. Today's glorious city is full of joy. A new rulers. Since the throne of truly mag and a magnificent cornice takes place in the Hagia Sophia. In the name of Jesus Christos Panocrato, Lord of the Cosmos, I, Bardas, accept the imperial crown from the hands of the Philippines, ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople. I do solemnly swear before the Senate and the people of Rome, uh, as your basilis, rule with justness, fairness, divine guns, to protect the Holy Church from all evil, and by the grace of our Savior, to never let the Light of our true faith in the Byzantine Empire to do him, so help me God. This means Cornet is a strong basilisk. Despite the appeal of decay. He's a usurper. March is coming, so we'll hear it from the pirates soon. Imperial Holy War? Hey, what are you doing? Mind if I help you on that? Because, you know, we're fellow allies for a while now. So you want to... Well, they're trying to revoke you. And what is the Duke like? Stick together and we may come out on top. No, I'm not going to lead. My son will. He may not have the skills. But I know a few capable commanders I have. Yeah. Some capable ones. What did you do to piss off a man like him? I mean, he's got an ally. Who's that friend of yours? Oh, we don't have an alliance anymore. I forgot, but I could join your war. Because we're good buddies. Yeah, sure, why not? Not a good idea, because you know how much it costs to wage a war? My chance to kind of suggest it would be a benefit to the realm if I studied the languages of foreign courts. He also offers himself to aid me in my studies. Oh, that man favor? Sure. Prosperity! It's prospering here and it's prospering there. Alright. Go up the mountains. I ain't leading that army. Oh, no, I don't want to. Robin gets to lead. Anastasios and my son. My training is paying off and I'm master of new level combat skills. With enthusiasm, I look forward to what comes next. Remarkable. I have a hand eye coordination. Oh, he died some years ago. I didn't know. But, uh, my long dead mentor. Says I have reached my potential, cannot progress further. Fell short of the maximum. No more moderate training. Thank God. So, hand eye coordination. Here it is. Additional essence to combat apprenticeship. Despite the fact that I'm old, fat, and gouty.
I'll be a sub commander. I'll be right behind you. Wherever they go, follow them. March 20th. 75 gold. We're going to engage the enemy. Oh, hell. I made a mistake for getting involved in this battle. I try to breathe deeply, but uh, catching my breath in the freezing water uh, is difficult. Uh, look, it's the Dolce himself, someone shouts. Uh, I turn only to find myself overrun by Dugard's pompous soldiers. Um, but that man's already dead. Slain by, uh, Moros, another commander of Amalfi. Oh, my loyal eunuch, who's got an owl. So, I would chase down this man who is already dead. Oh my god, what am I doing? My son's beginning to set when I meet with... This man who's already dead. <laughs> my sword is ready after he clumsily dodges one attack. My next one lands perfectly. Frantically attempts to cover his injured chest. Rarely have seen so much blood. You are beating a dead man. A man who just died today. Killed by him. Oh, my eunuch. <laughs> and here comes this opportunist Doje. To, you know, his first day of combat ever. Personally, and then... So it's like, okay, this man is slain. Move up, and then, and he, and as they lead the charge, and then, and he's like, um, yeah, beat him up, hit him in the chest, and there's more blood coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Well, he did it. He's brave, I guess. Even though it's totally a fabrication. Let's fight side by side. More reinforcements are on the way. <laughs> and I left the front line almost immediately. Yeah, I'm back here. <laughs> I ran off. Can the allies do it? One of their commanders has been killed. Best one's a distinguished commander. But we're failing. An old weather bitten diplomat who has served in most courts of Europe, the ones that matter at least, has agreed to take me under his wing for a few days and taught me many valuable tricks to how to deal with vassals on the roofs. Much obliged. I'm always lacking in diplomacy. Reinforcements are on the way. Just hang on. God. What happened to him? Was he killed? Gravina. I think I know what probably happened to him. As he's now reduced to being a lordship. I think I know what happened to him. He may have been captured in action and I wasn't aware. I wasn't paying attention to the war score or, or something. Well, we were almost losing the battle anyway. Well, let's go home in disappointment. And my son has pneumonia. It affected his marshal. That one may have also been a contributing factor to why his flank lost. Call a physician, please. Hate to lose him. <laughs> ah, good. The old man croaked. So I'm brave, so... I'm no longer wary anymore. Yeah. No longer wary. I'm brave. <laughs> yeah. I sure won that battle.
Oh, he sure won that duel. <laughs> yeah, thanks to my awesome hand-eye coordination. Done did it. <laughs> yeah. But please, how is my son? Attacking our assets. The daring Falkus decided to ambush my fleet and raid my coast as revenge for my pirate activities. Fortunately, his skill does not match his prowess. My fleet destroyed his enemies and routed those that survived. I am more feared than ever. He's from Messenia. Independently resolved, I may lose my life in action. Excellent! <laughs> ah, crap. You can't elect a child. Pull the campaign fund away. So, got my money back. Well, crud. Eight years old. Left-handed, which I don't think I want him to be succeeding. So that means we're not going to run the Republic anymore. But hey, you made some great changes. <laughs> now, Raphael, who is six years old and not left-handed. So I will designate him as heir. I got to live another 10 years or so. Or so. <laughs> Did you see what you just said there? Well, based on our war experience, um, I think. And you always wanted more money. So how about a fortified vault upgraded to secret passages? These secret passages run through the entire palace and enable those in the node to move quickly from one end to the other without being seen. By pulling on the right candelabrum, an unassuming bookshelf on the lit fireplace might slide open. Perfect for escaping would-be assassins or awkward social gatherings. So we'll have to invest in that. As well as my uh, trade post. Yeah, I'm sad, but... Here's a chance to get some of that piety. No, 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 let him go free at one... Well... He's excommunicated, but who's gonna take it out on him? I ain't gonna arrest him. Unless he has money, then I will. The pneumonia got him. She was my friend and a great woman. The distractions seemed to overwhelm me during my studies. The simplest pleasures, even plain and mundane chores, seemed like better time spent than drowning in books all evening. How does one manage to keep focused um, when everything else is so much more appealing? Even if I learn a few phrases, it'll be worth it. And I'm stressed again. Tell them, talk to the market for the word of law. No trade curtailed here. Honestly, that stress might kill me. Despite the treatment of the gout, which my next treatment will be a couple of years from now. I must live a couple more years. There is a healthier lifestyle that I should be doing. Stewardship ain't gonna go up anytime soon. <laughs> I'll be quiet. You're not gonna do this whole thing again, are you? I mean, you got your diploma skill up. Maybe you should get it up a little with family. Maybe just be a family man for once.
increase tensions. I'm not ready for another vacation yet. And plus, he was my domain overseer. He did a very good job. We gotta sa save up some money to appoint a new domain overseer to keep things stable. It'll be a miracle for the gout to be rid of now. You know, these two children were delicate, right? March 20th, and here's 20 gold. Before me is an endless expanse of grass and a sunset sky covered in past the shades of rose and gold. A single tree is all there exists. I sit under the tree and the Wind faintly whispers in my ear, singing of joys and sorrows of the ancients. It gently sways the tree, and the shadows of the branches and leaves dance over my face. I wake up from my dream and feel at peace. Just up the trade value a bit more, and hopefully things will get better. Robin's now an organizer. How about uh, my prisoners need some integral restructuring, if you are interested? I don't think so, go for it. She's oh, really? I happily guide Tatiana down the stairs to the dungeon. As soon as he gets to Amalfi, even though she lives here. We have a lot of fine specimen here in Amalfi, and this is a prime opportunity to test them out. Let's have some fun. She'll probably be squeamish. Oh dear. After all, you have the family focus on. You just want to live a healthier lifestyle. We are testing out the different tools we have at hand. And quickly work our way through a couple of prisoners. They almost look spiffly as we're done with them. And I have to say, we're being quite generous as we leave them mostly intact. Oh, I'm going to be cruel no matter what. Let us take it slow and see how long they can withstand. Gotta offer her a bribe. That stupid, stupid woman. She really doesn't like me having that tree post there. That vile monster she is. She took the money and offered it as a bribe. She did, still did nothing to spare my tree post. Mob stormed the garrison and had full of survivors who made it back to Malfi before chilling accounts of brutality and soup. Barbarians! Scum! Savages! You're a dead woman right now. Glad she's in vacation. She's resting a bit. Because there's a chance to take revenge. I am certain that this is a massive success as most of our specimens stayed intact throughout the tests we did. Not to mention all the fun we had. Next time will be even better. I made her cruel. Yipe. So cruel, brave, proud, deceitful, rough. She seems to have fun with our little experience and talks about how she would like to be invited back some time. Do feel we've grown somewhat close to our little deal. It is truly an art. His first retinue. You know, I'd like to have my own retinue too. If I can afford it. My determination hard work's paid off studying with Kako. I learned several new languages to a decent level of fluency. This will surely increase my prestige in forward courts. You know I could do it. No multilingual. But all that stewardship just shot out. Mm -hmm. 
Aldo or Salgana to quarrel with the butcher's son. Apparently, he demanded the boy to act as his pet. Upon the boy's refusal, Aldo grabbed him by the hair on the ear and spin him in circles before massively launching him to a tree. <laughs> what the hell? Aldo is strong. Okay, maybe Aldo's got some potential. Well, he's gonna be one to be a warrior. I can see that already. <sighs> it is my duty. I don't want to disappoint him. Don't want to make him lose prestige. Still looks at me with suspicion. Count sorts of infidels and all that. Third school of thought in my lifetime. Um, now this time, their thoughts on the mind, the soul, and the nature of reality are truly remarkable. This new mean philosophy will go far. Here comes March 20th. See how much I get out of this one. Poor intelligence of cost can cause my powerful terrorists to fare worse than I expected. Casualties have led to money being lost this year. Not very much. Mm. News have arrived about the migrants of the Seems they are in the process of being assimilated by the culture and religion of the Size of the group. Okay, they're gone for good. Now we could prosper. I wish the same for that set. My wife invites me to a session of Stargaze, too exhausted by the hours long spent at court. Fell asleep as soon as I arrived at the observatory. A wooded bed is not a very comfortable bed. Mm hmm. So they won't. It's still going to be integration. We did it successfully this one. Yeah, let's move on somewhere else. For the faction. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, some bad habits to me. Should be Erica. Should be designated region. She knows what to do. I really don't care what's going on in China. What about the grandchildren? <gasps> He's a genius! I made the right call. He should be the one. Yes, he will be there as Raphael. Which we named him after that Ligurian father. Just in time. We won for duty. So, we may not run the Republic again, but do not worry, we will have a genius. I'm happy about that. Okay, you know what? Give me notifications on him.
Okay. What? Oh yeah, we're doing this part first rather than um You're killing it, Patrice, but it's not this one. Some are backing out of that plot. Well, that's what I have this money for. Need more backers. I want to outlive her. Yes, I got... Whoa, wait a minute. You're more expensive. Are you greedy? Yes, he is. Okay, never mind him. This one's the Duke. Last one. Should be good enough to have this many backers. Good timing. My faith served me well. I like my patron saint. Okay, now we're gonna get the Duchess. We're gonna do this plot again. I finally get to outlive her. Oh, and also give me the ox. No mirror. She went out with a bang. Finally. Wait a minute. Oh, that son of a beeswax. He took that trade post from me. That's my usual trade post. Even though it's not invested in yet, but... I got to have that. Maybe my son will. They're working their own pace. It doesn't provide much. Tatiana's baby. My little daughter, um, Desirat, does not like other children. She does not cry, she does not scream or cry or even get upset. But she observes the world with keen interest. This morning she burst into bubbling laughter when a cook cut his hand badly and there was blood everywhere. Um, animals do not like her when she, and she makes a strange buzzing sound when there are other children. Courtiers whisper a demon spawn and the servants start to avert their eyes to make covert signs to ward off evil. Uh, console my court chaplain, I gotta seek the advice from him. Like Korchan believes that Lotus Herd is the spawn of Lucifer. Even worse, he believes that Mother Tatiana is a witch who had Congress the demons. Oh my goodness, do, don't need to do that. Divorced and then then uh, in prison. And the child would be a bastard. And if you have a bastard child, that means you get to plot the killer. Don't want to lose that. Oh no, that's that one to lose, piety. I'll say Jesus of Earth sees both witch and child. You got the money, didn't you? <sighs> we had such a good time together, but damn it. I can't take it anymore. No way, no how. And also, it's not on the list of children anymore. And as for her, she's in the mouthy. Get rid of her. She's gonna go to uh, the Byzantine Empire. Trisha Pasadas.
Just get her the hell out of here. Went to Cephalonia. It's a good location. No, I rule the Republic. You won't receive counsel. Say, um... You're still around, right? Friend? You should marry. You're very good at this sort of thing. Here we go again with the manure. You are my friend after all. And chaste. But you've got a great beauty and a great mind. Erica's also a genius. The one for diplomacy then. The courtesans and whores of Atsara are gaining fame throughout the world for their beauty and skills in lovemaking. It does take it to reflect well on the morals and reputation of local inhabitants. Much less than myself, but at least it's provided a bit of economic boost. There's more travelers are coming from afar. Sick of particular pleasures to be offered. Good horse for the next 12 years. No, 22 years. And I shall be one of them. I'll make that time visit there eventually. Lost all ruler. Ups the fertility even more. But I gotta get rid of that stress, though. Or just die of stress. Just accept the fact that the Arsenal is not gonna have their time running the Republic anymore. You make great strides. He's also a trained diplomat. It's even better. He can do it all, whatever task it may, may give him. In fact, let me examine you. You're not delicate, are you? No, he isn't. Just a genius. Oh, boy. A peasant revolt. Hooray for chaos. That's what you should use that money for. Y'all do. And fight wars to seize other people's trade posts. Options over there. This morning I was informed that one of my operatives, you know, my smuggler operatives named um, El Mut Albano, Albano, he's from Rome. He's planning to run away to significant part of my assets and invest in his business. If I want to avoid a significant hit in my treasury, I need to finish this individual. I don't have time to burn escape him. You know me, I'm a master schemer. Still deceitful. But I'd rather, t I'd rather take care of this, not the spy master. I may be old, but I ain't, you know, going to quit it out. I was thinking, is it almost time for my treatment? Yes, this coming April. Anastasia, you will be, uh, at <sighs> Or so, or so, he'll be one for intrigue. It was a remarkable year for Arcee, underscored by brilliant capture of Lotus Silver, thanks to Garb's our intelligence assets. Made big gains. Hey, 
Sick dreaming, quick. Uh, as long as you know what you're doing, let's not try to do something anything stupid. Present me with a charred carcass of a cat that prompted me to dig in. As I told me how he chased a plump feline lined around my holdings for hours, I felt he wanted praise for his hard work. It was a vile taste of milk kept me silent. I think he's got everything handled. Well, since they can have this, well then, fine. We'll take this. Holy War for Salerno. It's because you joined the war and now these guys are coming here. That's terrible. I don't want them to see that around in my lands. So let's build a trade post there. I'll join the war. All Catholics must come together. They say a mad alchemist or wizard lives in that side of dabbling in dangerous arcane arts, trying to find a potion of immortality. Or pillaging graves for the bodies of dead men to save his unnatural desires. It is said in his hut are thousands of profane scrolls and potions. However, no such man is found anywhere, according to the local authorities. He must be somewhere. God dang it. Alright. The guys from the Aglavi Sultanate are attacking Salerno. We are joining that war and we will hold our ground here in the uh, Principato. Blessed by local spirits. Hm. Serene province, levy reinforcements, and part of the Imperial Road. And since this is a uh, Via Impere, the local movement speed is a little faster so we can get there in no time. Old Roman roads, yeah. One would think. But here's the problem with me, with me being light of combat. I am highly likely going to die in this um, defense because I am stressed, I am gouty, I don't have the combat skill like I used to unless I were to get rid of stress, which would be an improvement. Maybe perhaps I should go seek some rest. It does not say, uh, well actually it says, it does say at peace. Well crud, I can't go on a uh, vacation to the countryside because we're about to join a conflict. Knowing this will lead to my end. Also, as for you, uh, that, uh, thinking about banishing you because what else am I going to do with you? You spawned me a demon child. Allegedly. So I suggest you get out of here now. Because you're not welcome in this country anymore. We were good friends. Even though not really friends. All I could say is here. Yeah. Well, why don't you go join her? She went to Cephalonia and she went to Kanin. Yeah, back to Croatia where you once came. Yeah, don't come back here again. Because I'm married to my new wife, who was also married to my son. Was married to my son before he died. Despite the cruelty, but we'll get along just fine. But, remember, she is the court tutor. She'll be educating these children that are very dear to me. And he's got good skills now. I mean, after all, he's a genius. But our, but we've accepted the fact that I am going to die. We will not run the Republic anymore. It will be led by this man who is Orthodox Christian. And since we're joining Catholic Holy War, that means when I die, the uh, Amalfi's participation of the war ends. But we hope that others will join in the defense because... Their presence in Italy, in the boot itself, is going to be 
It's gonna be chaotic. I'll tell you that. But since we are going to a battle, I need I need better commanders. At least one or two. No, no stupid people. Just cannot believe I spend my money on all. Okay then, then give me a commander then. Y'all do. Again, we want to get a position because they'll have to do an amphibious assault. If they go through here, that we take it a crossing and then we'd be defending the forest. We may fight well. Robin, you take this side. I don't trust you because that craven trait could cost us, so this commander I brought over here. Oh, they're skilled. But ruler personally leading troops would add a bit of morale. That's the reason why I'm here at the center. Which is the... Oh, no, no. You know what? I'll take the left flank. Robin can take this center. Only because of troop compositions. No, no, no. Uh, my mistake. My mistake. Because I'm the uh, battlefield terrain master, allegedly. No, no, no. Back where you were. Um... I'm, I'm at a dilemma here. I don't care if you're going to excommunicate me or not. I'm going to borrow money from Jewish merchants. In case if... Uh, actually, hold on there. Here's something we've never done before. This is for motivation reasons. Order Requiem Masses to be held. Requiem Masses to be held. Finance matches to be held for the poor souls suffering in purgatory. Requiem masses are held for the souls of those who died in the state of grace but still have attachment to the law. These souls are purified from their sins in purgatory and that they become holy saints able to stand before the almighty God. The priests ask you what should they, who should they pray for during the masses. For my fallen soldiers, for the next three years, which the war shouldn't last that long. Morale of armies up. This is to motivate them further. For our fallen soldiers. This character's been paying the clergy to hold masses and pray for the souls of deceased soldiers. Now, I admit that I'm not really a religious man, but... Trust me, I can tell you. This is a holy war we'll be joining, and we will do our damnedest to save Salerno. Until Catholic reinforcements arrive from the neighbors, and possibly they'll get involved too, despite the peasant revolt. Maybe Rome will join. They'll be the difference makers. And of course, the Dementines, but they're in the middle of a war, as they want the coast of Havar Island. Mm hmm. And choose a business focus on Amalfi. Fisheries of the Amalfi Coast add even more morale of armies and levy reinforcement right faster. This is going to be short term because I don't know how long I'm going to live. And if the war ends soon, I'll definitely go seek rest. If I survive the uh, for the defense of Principato. This family, this family is focusing its business investments in the Malfi's fish industry. The waters of the Amalfi Coast are known for being a, a mare peso, uh, piscosum, a sea abounding in all types of fish. Yep, for our fellow soldiers. And I can't switch to war focus. That would get rid of my health benefits and I would die before even arriving there. 
You just gotta pull through. You have to pull through. You already have successful treatment. You already have the health benefits that um, was added during the training that you had. So yes, I admit that I was a criminal mastermind. Yes, killed a bunch of people. That's my assassinations. We embezzled, we robbed, we ransomed. But now, times are different. And if I fall in battle... But remember, we did this for the Republic. That we made it into what it is today. Soon the Ursul family will no longer run the Republic. And this grandson here, I see great things in him. Whatever education that he may take, he'll be good at any field, no matter what. He will be well respected and used with good words since he's good at diplomacy too. We wish for the best. Mm -hmm. Alright, enough hyping up. Let's get to work. To the most excellent Doge Mansano. Peace be with you. I gladly accept your offer to assist the moment. Let our enemies tremble. Let it be known. We are the first to join the Bakua. He's still in Tunis gathering troops. As he's having a bit of a mild lack of harmony, but he has experience in combat. But um, based on his number of kills, he's never killed anyone in combat before, but he certainly fought in a few wars in the past. Two different holy wars. Yeah. So he fought in a duel before. But based on what he has, he does not have a personal weapon or armor. But he's got a lot of money. Which means if he wishes, he could get mercenaries. And that would make it difficult to hold this area on. As you see that highlighted there, that's what he wants. He wants that land. They're both forested areas that, w that is easy to defend. But however, the troops of Salerno are not present. They're in Raug, Ragusa. Because they're helping out the Narentine. Even though they really shouldn't. And I discourage it. We're on our way. We'll do what we can. And assign any uh, sub commanders that you do not have. I guess the fat man, too. You got a Han Chinese as one of the sub commanders, but he belongs to Pacarios. Hey, since you got all this money, maybe you should, uh, like, you already invited a soldier, but, um, you can invite a few more commanders, it, ideally at least three. One, two, three. Okay, what do you got? Skilled tactician, formidable fighter, and brave for morale defense. Okay, you're in. But he's one-eyed. He's patient. That adds more for the defense. But not as good martial skill wise. But you're in. And as for you, just gotta crave it. No, you're out of here. Any more? We're just looking for volunteers. Hunter Ruffle. Good, Marsh. Because we need somebody that would be good evenly all around. Like at least one more. A giant of a man who is also patient but must talk. Okay, you're in. Let's figure this out, okay? Now that we arrived here. We already have an organizer. 
redistribute. And yet that center morale is going to be a problem, but I have to lead because it because the ruler leading personally leading troops helps it. He'll be in this one. You'll be in that one. And in that one. It'll do. Now keep in mind, you're wondering, why do you have horse archers? In case you're forgetting, due to degree culture around here, from Sorrento, there's a cataract training ground. That's for uh, the Greek culture, or the Byzantine culture group, basically. And what do we Langobard get? The Knight Retinue, which is, which is just as good, because you get heavy cavalry and light cavalry. But the problem is, they're extremely expensive. Despite the fact we're even a part of the Italian culture group, we don't get the... Uh, the pikemen. Instead we get knights. Which is uh, originally available for French, Norman, Octan, uh, or Occitan, German, and Breton cultures. But the uh, Langobard, Italian culture group, but they are also known as Lombards. Not to be confused with the Lombards of the North, but we are the Lombards of the South. Um, so we use that retinue because that's yeah, here it is, the Pike Retinue. I'm looking it up on my, you know, what. Um, that's a development for Italians and Dalmatians. It's so difficult to have enough patience with Orso or so. He's such an absent-minded child. Ah, oh, crud. He's absent-minded, but unlucky. It could be worse, right? At least I didn't make you the assigned uh, designated regent. Thank you. I didn't make you that. Lombard heavy infantry is what the Lombards of the north get. While we get knights. Which is excellent, but expensive. So you need a very good source of income for that. No sign of enemy forces yet. But I suspect they will make an amphibious landing. As we're slowly, but surely, getting our morale up. We are the first line of defense. Uh, we hope that others may join. Here they come. My rogue operative escaped, running away with a significant chunk of my smuggle operation. This filly will be the talk of next year on the court, even outside of frontiers. I am disappointed. My goodness! That's all of our money. You don't want to have that in your conscience. The morality army suffers. Take a small loan. We'll repay it at war's end. We just want to have that morale army up still. Starting on the 24th of July. Real question is, will others join while others may die? As the date of battle begins, it appears that the papacy have joined. So is Croatia. Oh, that's a big one. Croatia. Big forces. And where did they get their advanced spawn troops from? Where are they? Migrant troops? No. They just got them. What now? In this battle of Salerno? <laughs> Even though I'm gonna do bad because I'm dull minded. Prince Baka. 
He's a distinguished commander and a decadent man, and he's dull just like me, but he's a cavalry leader, an inspiring leader. Oh, no way I can beat him. Listen, I accept my death if I die in this battle. We did it for the Republic, and we're sacrificing the men of Amalfi, so, so that way they'll be relieved by, by the Papal States and the Kingdom of Croatia. Or the, uh... Yes, it's called Kingdom of Croatia. Thought it would have a native name. Fight well, Robin. You too, Landa. Because I'm going to do terrible here. They took an amphibious landing. While we're defending in the forest. Seeing that I'm terribly busy with family day-to-day -day affairs in Rome, such as fighting on the battlefield, my wife's taken upon herself to treat with the dignitaries of foreign Rome. She settled grievances with some minor lords in a matter that advanced my own agenda. Well, excellent. Failing on picking bad tactics, and we're outnumbered here. Write a letter telling him, please help. I'm gonna get myself killed. I'm gouty, I'm stressed. Failed advance tactic, you're holding on well. I'm retreating. Pressure's on you. You're doing a devastating standfast tactic. Where did you have such combat experience, Robin? But then again, who am I to ask him? Oh. These two brave normally. Haven't seen any genetic traits picked up, just in case if there's any interest that my grandson if wants to marry her for future reference. That's a pressure's on you. A oh, failed awesome charge static. That's an epic fail. Is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? We held them off. We held them off. By God, Robin, you saved Salerno. The windy weather is getting to me. Turning to the sky, I take a deep breath. The pompous soldiers of Sultan Umar. Uh, he's been sending the best to me, and my limbs are becoming heavy with each step I take. Who's that? Oh, I don't want to fight him. Because I'm brave, but I ain't stupid. Oh, I'm dull. You would be stupid to take that if you want to fight against him. He's got a combat skill better than you. But if I were you, I'll just say I accept any injury if it protects Amalfi. Took a concussion during this critical during this critical moment of the battle. They almost retreated, but we held them off. I accept my death. So huh, we took a bit more casualties than they did. But due to the combination of amphibious assault and the tactics, which... How how could you fail an awesome charge tactic? Was it due to your ruffleness? Were you being too greedy? In fact, the better question is, did any of your commanders get any dual combat experience? Did you? Huh? I'm looking at you, each and every one of your faces. Because if I see blood on the face, that means you've been in a duel. Not even you. Especially not you. Because I'd rather have you as a sub-commander than be an actual commander. Oh. 
but we're still terribly outnumbered but don't worry one day relief will arrive if they'll be coming actually they don't have much fleet levy so they're gonna have to come overland There is a river across through here, so we'll hold our position here until further relief arrives, but that further reduces my health. The lazy, ungrateful dock workers of Mafia refuse to unload the ship, citing poor working conditions and low pay. They will not let anyone pass the picket line. Troops from all the major families are working together to silence the leaders of these mobs, but costly daily shipping are unavoidable at this point. After everything I've done for them, for the defense of Salerno. Again, I will die soon because all that health deterioration. I cannot go seek rest. There's an Amalfian trade post belonging to the Mara family. So they can't go up beyond this point. Unless you want to fight up in the mountains. Because they seem to be retreating that way. There's hills of Melfi. Keep an eye on them. Oh hell, they're coming back. But this time they're taking a river crossing penalty and we have the mounts which adds even more. But this time we're badly outnumbered still. And we don't have the full morale but they do. Ready for round two? Until the forces of Salerno and Croatia come in? Because the papal forces decide to go to Tunis itself. And I don't know what the hell they're doing all the way over there. But, again, sacrificing myself. Nope, the Sultan is here. <laughs> but it's better to defend in the mountains than it is up in the forest. What the hell? In Gravina, the battle site. It, this NIST promised there were purported sightings of other worldly giant mud crab wandering coasts and rivers. <sighs> Disgusting creatures. Secretly corrupt official died here. But again, we're just gonna hold the line here. We gotta delay him until relief arrives and then they will take care of the rest of the situation here for Italia Viva Italia Of course, I'm picking bad tactics, but we have the high ground. He made a bad move, but how long will that last? Riding through the mountains, I see a group of pompous soldiers coming for my unit. Weapons raised. When they f are finished with us, all of all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in the mud, wondering why I'm still here. Oh, it's him again. Forgot to mention that he's also a member of the Sandpit Fighters Guild of this culture. I, uh, well, what happened? I, I don't belong here. Oh, now we're in total retreat now. Pack up, get the hell out of here. We came here for what we set out to do. A delay action. 
We didn't have a full morale. We took severe casualties now. What's that? They've hired mercenaries. Who would that be? The uh, papacy. Um, what did you hire? What do you think? These, that's the papal guards. That's them. Those aren't mercenaries, those are the papal guards. Coming to the defense. Well, we're going to be retreating to this way, but I feared that it's going to get ugly before it's going to get better. We need to return to Amalfi for further reinforcing. Don't want to get caught out here. Oh my god, they're going to kill us here. No, they stopped. Tell them, talk to them, I get the word of law, if they're willing. Go, go, go. Turn back and reinforce. There's only two holdings, so we don't have much time. But we will be relieved by the papal forces. It's forces of Salerno and the Duke. Croatia still got some time to go. They're going to try to get together while we will reinforce here slowly but surely. But again, I'm not going to survive this war. Oh my god, they're coming back right on our own doorstep. Well, don't worry, there's friendly forces nearby. They're actually coming to Mafia itself. <laughs> I mean, they're not here to take over, they're here for me. <laughs> this, would, this would weaken our country significantly as a whole. And there's a peasant revolt that are here to to do some damage. Nope, they changed. They changed their mind. Now they want me. Is the movement locked? Yes, confirmed. They are coming here. Will the Pocarios uh, know they're neutral, but will they help? Because this concerns Amalfi too. I care what you say. The Papal Guards and the Croats are st still got a long ways to come down here. And they're going to have to... Of course, the ongoing siege of Tunis that also further contributes to it. But I wonder if them stalling gave us enough time for this respite. At least none of my commanders got captured after that last battle. But we can't know for certain how much numbers they are. Perhaps it's a bigger force than before. Maybe it's their Grand Army that's coming here. The reason they did that is because they can't go to Principato. And they're not at the right sea zone. They have to be the Strait of Messina to land in Marsekovertere. And I wish the migrant troops would help us. but No, no help will arrive. And this would be our end, boys. You have a bigger force than before. But they're coming to relieve us. Be here in a week, if we can even last a week. Oh my goodness, they're all after me now. But 
reinforcements have arrived. Based on that flag, yeah, Paul Carrios was helping in that defense. But now, they're here to relieve us. And here comes Croatia to Principato to go after them. So, what do you want? No, I refuse to perform the favor. I'll be seen as ungrateful, but I really don't care at this point. I'm gonna die. Either by combat or from the wounds of battle or the gout and all that. I will remain here. But hey, at least I will be a respected commander despite what we all went through. All that. It's just horrific. So, we are combat ineffective at this point. Okay. The migrants are gone now. Small migrations removed. So, so when I die, Asada will be the place that my grandson will control, but he will inherit a, a land that isn't really good these days. But, do not worry, you're safe now. Perhaps you will indeed die. But if you even survive that concussion until this summer, it'll be a miracle. Unless it is, unless there'll be a small miracle where I pick up a little random event where I would be drinking some, I don't know, herbal tea or something. But it's wishful thinking at this point. 10,000 strong to crush the army over there. Now, we can't read what it says, but just don't go anywhere anymore. Just stay in Amalfi. Wait until you're further reinforced. And soon, one day, they'll take the war to them. Yeah, they got him. And now they're going up to Melfi to fight them in the hills. Montes Sant'Angelo has joined because it's a neighbor to Salono. Again, if I die, at least I died fighting for Italia, not for myself. Atalia is more important than anything else. Take care of a peasant revolt. 36% war scorn due to occupation of Tunis. We lost one time in Matera up here because we did what we set out to do. He's back in Tunis. Disturbing reports from Amalfi. A mysterious wooded ship is spotted floating in the sky along the far horizon in several areas. Along the coast, a few ships try to approach but could never reach it. It does not fly the flag or banner of any known peoples. Whether it was spotted Locals report hearing strange whistling noises, like a faint screeching wind in the night for several weeks on. Huh. Alarming apparitions. Haunted ship in the sky. 
reports about of a haunted ship floating in the sky. It's most likely collected delusions and hallucinations and nothing else. It's March 20th. Alright. Here's some money. Some relief. The Narentines have joined. Ally of Salerno. Perhaps we ought to invest in this in future. When you get that money back up. Knowing that we will be running Napoli again. Three percent war score as uh, occupying more of Tunis. Where the hell are you going? Narentines joined people forces in Tunis. Now they're gonna go kill the rest of them. Yeah, we still have another training post under construction. What it won't be done until January. So once that's constructed, we'll hope that um, things will be good over there. My wife Erica confronts me in the evening regarding a rather morose behavior I exhibited for some time. After a truly rousing and passionate speech by my wife, I feel the shoulder, as if the, the weight of the world has been lifted from my shoulders. Praise God for my wife's good counsel. Guess I have a reason to live. At least for a while longer now. But it's still unwise if I were to go back in action like this. But at least it prolongs my li life a little. Just keep getting these gouty... Get the treatments for the gout. What the hell are you saying? Because i like to see him be old enough to... Um, yeah, what he needs. He'll be 12 this year. I am hearing tales of barbarian warlords who attacked Rome years ago. Generations ago. Attila, of course, is the most famous, but others are also one of such as Alaric, who sacked Rome yet died soon after. Or Eric, who transformed the Vandals into a Mediterranean power. Or the ambitious um, so who overthrew the last Western Roman Emperor. Uh, Romulus Augustus. Taking inspiration. Huh. I would say Attila is like the coming of the apocalypse. Yeah, thinking of old war stories, huh? Where the hell did you go? Warrior pilgrimage. What's the matter of you? You should be defending your country. Yeah, might as well. I'll pay back as much as possible. So the loan is off of me now. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before they gather up and decide to come back. Or to fend off the enemies there. Alo Urso, the strong one. He'll be one for Marshall. Be a very good miracle 
if the gout was gone, and then I'll be more than happy to lead my troops in the front again. Prince Bakar. I have issues with that man. Perhaps we should go after and defeat this small force. I'll no, stop them. We have four morale, and after all, you're the organizer. And you had prior combat experience. I remember when this war is over, well, you're no longer stressed, so when the war is over, well, then just try to change your ways. Right, you still don't have anything that's unraised yet. In fact, I mean, the clergy doesn't give me any money, does it? No, they don't. They pay taxes to the Pope. What they should be giving is a clergy focus for more levies. Everybody supports this, yes. For the defense of this nation. We want levy contributions from there. Whether they like it or not. Because the clergy don't pay taxes to us. There's only seven, seven of them. But it is said the Sultan is there. If we capture him, or oh, think of the boon that would be good for us. But if I die, remember. If I do die, war's over. Because he's Orthodox and they're not allowed to fight a team up with Catholics. They already did their part of defense. But now we're active again. If I always so, march so as well. Ransom. It's back car again. Doesn't matter, you're outnumbered. No matter how much I give Oso books, he refuses to read them because he finds them boring. He's dim. Ah yes, Dim is the lowest of lowliest of the low of the dull minded. Try to capture him, it will win us the war. We only took three casualties during this uh, great action. But we only captured this here mayor. You better give me that money. Because you'll pay. Yeah. I'm willing to let you go because we're not, you know, what we are. Kirk Kent. No, there's no one else. That's just Kirk Kent doing some other war that they're joining. Not related to ours. Moderate, levy-oriented, clergy-focused law. In other words, you need to give us levies, regardless of opinion. And yes, that also applies there too. You know, they are coming in a big way. Should we pull back? Or should we stand and fight? Do we cross into the river? And into the forest? We don't know much about them. Or who their commanders are. 
peasant leader formerly, but a tall, trained fighter. But there's no reason to kill ourselves out there. It's brought to my attention that the fleet of my pirate vessels needs additional maintenance. Thanks to the harsh punishment the sea has delivered, lady. It's also the important to keep steady supplement of new pirate captains promoted from the cruise, which involves increased payments. I'll pay the additional maintenance. Where are they going? Are they really coming here? Yes, they are. Can we escape? Let's escape to Malfi. Yes, a river flows through. Maybe we could just hold off on the Malfi because it's our territory. Our mountains. And we can get reinforced here safely. Yep, they're seriously coming here. All, no, regardless what happens to all of us. And don't worry, the retinue of the Paul Carrillo Storm will also join in the defense. Because they have the uh, counterfract retinue. But I'm no longer stressed. And uh, we can try to... Everybody's assigned to their flanks. Just make it sure. And don't really have time to hire mercenaries. I mean, I could pay them and maintain. It would be them. But it's kind of too late now because they're coming here in a big way. I don't know what for. They're not participants in this war. But if they want to come in badly like that, well then good luck with that. We have the mountains. They're going to take a river crossing. But we may get overwhelmed still. But we'll give them an effort. We'll give them a beating. Five of them. We have the high ground. That's their only commander. I'm looking straight at him. I made a bad call. They got far more heavy infantry in the cavalry. So they're giving us hard time. They're giving me hard time right now. Okay. Made an awesome charge tactic. Come on. Come on. Got him. Finally found my courage. We took quite a bit of casualties as we were still in recovery. We had 400, but uh, at least the retinue helped us out that was still stationed there. Thank God for the Greeks. Wish I was Greek, but nah, rather have the Knights retinue. If we can afford and maintain, but that's what the second trade post is for. So, we should probably have good relations with them in the future. And invest in this. And all that. But that one is an issue. We'll end this episode. As soon as this war ends, this episode will end. You know what? As I said, I think I changed my ways. Let's make special plans for Lent. I should do the body to save the soul. From now on, I'll be observing Lent just to practice moderation. Should have done this long ago. Because that one would have uh, at least given me a chance to fight back. Forgive me, Father, because I've sinned. 
made a lot of sense, but... All right. There's some money in that. Oh my god, they're coming again. Sorrento just uh, created its own retinue, but it's kind of too late now. They're coming again, but this time their number is less. He is risen. We have the mountain again. Made a good tactic. I broke their center early on. One moment I'm shouting orders, surrounded by the clanging of swords and fighting around me, then my memory fades. I find myself on the ground, lying a mixture of blood and dirt. My ears are ringing with pain. A soldier runs past me, but he assumes I am dead. Why does my head hurt? I gingerly pull the spear from my cheek. It's more than a grazing wound. I've been disfigured. Well, I did say I was going to die in this war. Now I'm disfigured. Accept the fact. My war is over. Strong Basilis. An enterprising captain and commander of one of my guys discovered several new markets along foreign shores. He reports that these distant ports a rifle of opportunities for training profit. Rule number 62. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. The Rentain forces. Come on. Just occupy more. What happens if we beat him to it? Actually, we will have the defense, but we would lose our, you know. Am I a death seeker or what? I don't have the comment skill anymore. If I get killed, I get killed. Sacrificing for Italia, but. Does Amalfi need to be crippled anymore so they'll be vulnerable to other people's ambitions? Do we really need that in our conscience? Because, you know, do you want rivals like Ragusa to... Like no, you stay there. You've done enough. Ninety-nine percent board score. It's over. It's over because they failed to take the relevant objective. Salono. One hundred percent. Is it really right for us and the infidels to be fighting each other, even if they worship idols and to blasphemy? Are they still the children of God? They too are people, aren't they? Um. We were merely protecting our faith one way or the other. I just picked up the just trait. But that's too many traits now. This war has changed me. Piracy finished. Due to the fact of lacking coastal provinces in my domain, being just or being kind, I can't run a piracy operation anymore. Very well, because I became just, and plus, I'm going to die, so I don't think it matters anymore. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will end the episode on that note with the uh, war's end, and it's highly likely that we will see the death of Mansone, the spider, the man who made the Republic what it is. And uh, he defended Atalia for all of us. 
so we can all prosper. But now he will remain forever disfigured. The is severely injured again. This may end him. So this war did change them. But the question is, did he really change? We'll find out in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.